today we are going to adjust the voltage or the current um, on the white channel on these the black box LED light fixtures. This one here is a Mars Aqua, uh, but this procedure is going to be standard across the board on 99% of these black, black box LEDs. Um, you know, and it's probably the same on the more expensive ones as well. Um, you know, I haven't uh, messed with the uh, AIs or the, uh, uh, you know, Kessels or, or any of the, uh, what I would consider the higher end, you know, uh, light fixtures uh, for these, uh, you know, for our aquariums. But uh, this one here is the Mark, uh, Mars Aqua. It is going to be pretty much identical to uh, uh, some of the other ones with the manual dials, uh, like the flies on, etc. Um, these are all going to be the same. Um, the procedure for this will also be the same for the Viper Spectras. Um, the difference between this and the Viper Spectras, which, um, you know, I have both, and I'm going to say um, I, I truly feel that the um, color spectrum on the Viper Spectras are the best out of all the ones that I have tested so far. Uh, but regardless, we're not talking about color spectrum today. We're... You know we're going to adjust the uh, uh, the current or the wattage on the uh, white channel on these. So what I have found is on these black box LEDs, the white channels um, are way overpowered for for our needs. On my main display, I have uh, four Viper Spectras across the top, uh, spread out evenly, and my main display is a 210 gallon. Um, my white channel currently is only set on 1%, and it's way more than, than I actually need. Um, my PAR rating on the sand bed is, uh, you know, uh, just uh, here over 100. Uh, you know, in the middle, it's like 108 uh, PAR. So uh, what I want to do is I want to get it down to 75. So um, these Mars Aquas I have on my frag tank, which is a 40-gallon. Uh, so two of these across a 40 gallon seems to be perfect. Um, so it's strictly about adjusting the uh, potentiometer um, on these, on the driver box. So, you know, to bring that light, uh, the, the wattage on the light channel down, on the white, white channel down a little bit. Um, again, it's way overpowered for our needs, um, the white channel is. Um, the black channel, uh, or I'm sorry, the blue channel, I have set to about 30%. Um, the white channel on the Mars Aqua, um, I just have it, you know, one click, you know, to turn it on. Again, these are, you know, you, you turn the dial as you, you know, uh, increase the, uh, uh, the white channel, uh, the, the voltage, you know, up and down. Um, so, again, when I turn it on, I just, you know have it on the lowest setting that's possible so it's you know turned down all the way to the left you know um, any more would you know you can hear it it clicks off so I just click it to the on position and, and have it you know all the way down um, again that's overkill for my 40 breeder uh, we're gonna knock the wattage on this uh, down to we're gonna try and get it down to half so uh, you know we'll see how low we can actually get it down so the trick to this is you can only adjust the potentiometer down so much, otherwise the, the white channel will either A flicker or it'll just completely turn off the, you know, the white LEDs. Um, so you can only turn it down so much. Um, we're probably going to be in the, like the 5 to 8 watt range. Um, you know on this channel, but uh, we're gonna you know We're gonna see where we end up at and I'm gonna show you how to adjust it here shortly So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take the screws out There's two four six there's eight screws on uh, This Mars Aqua uh, flies on will be the same um, I think there's a few more screws if I remember correctly on the Viper Spectra But regardless these screws got to come off. Uh, that's that's the first stage. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get those screws off and uh, open this up and we'll continue. All right, so um, I went ahead and I removed the screws. And again, just 
it's just a Phillips screw that you're gonna you know back out from the casing and this just pulls up like so okay so um, in regard to the white channel on these Mars Aqua LEDs um, I already know it is the uh, the A channel that controls the white LEDs uh, but the easiest way to, to, to test this is when you have the white channel on there's a wire that goes from the uh, LED LEDs to the driver box and this is just the LED driver that drives the, the LEDs and it's just a little push pin connector and if you disconnect the connector that's the easiest way to test it that way you know exactly which driver box is driving the white LEDs and I'm going to connect that back up so next we're just going to go ahead and back these two screws out uh, this is just the hold down bracket that holds the uh, driver box on the LED driver all right so again that's just a Phillips bolt that you're going to unscrew and it's just the hold down bracket to hold the, uh, the driver box down and to open up the, the driver box, all you have to do is just take a small screwdriver and this back cover will pop off right like that. So basically you're just prying this back cover off. It's not glued down, it just you know snaps in place. Put that to the side. Alright, so what I like to do is if you take the driver and flip it upside down and kind of you know push it you know about halfway into the into the uh, the cover it'll just kind of help hold it here and that way you don't have to worry about you know uh, you know stuff touching metal and shorten anything out so you, you want to be careful here because you don't want to touch the, the main board uh, with a screwdriver or anything like that because if you short something out you know you, you could ruin the driver so we don't want to do that and the potentiometer is, is right there that's what we are going to turn um, on some of these black box LEDs they have a, uh, a dab of silicone on this and all you have to do is just scrape it off with your, fi your fingernail it will come right off and it will expose the, uh, uh, the little adjustment screw all right, so um, in the sake of making this easy, um, I already had a kilowatt. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use this. This is probably going to be the easiest way for you to adjust this. Um, typically, I would use my meter and and you know just scope this out and and you know figure out uh, you know what the what the wattage or, or voltage is on uh, you know on the for the settings, but. But again, not everyone is an engineer, so we're going to use the kilowatt. Um, you know, this is the easiest way that I can think of to have, you know, the average DIY person, you know, perform this task. Um, not everyone's an engineer. Not everyone really understands electricity. So, you know, again, we're going to just use the kilowatt. Um, these are not expensive. They're roughly 20 bucks or so. Um, pick one up. They come in handy. Um, you know, this is a prime example. You know, you can use this to, uh, you know, adjust the, uh, you know, the current on, on, on this uh, white channel for these LEDs. Um, I already well, went ahead and turned down the, uh, um, the current on here. Um, this was 8 watts. I turned it down to 5. Um, hopefully, you can make that out on the video. I don't know how well that's going to show up, but... Uh, um, it's kind of fluctuating a little bit, but it's it's at 5 watts. <clears throat> and all you do is you just take a micro screwdriver, and the adjustment nut, uh, screw is right here, and you just turn this left to right, slowly, in very small increments, um, and turn it down from, uh, again, this was this is Mars Aqua, so this was set from the factory at 8 watts, which was, you know, just overkill for my needs. Um, and I turned it down to five. Um, five watts on this particular light fixture is as low as you can go without the LED white channel flickering 
or just turning off completely. Um, so you want what you want to avoid is the if you turn it down too low, and in in this case for this light fixture, it's under five watts. So say for example, if you go down to four or three watts, um, the LED white channel, you know, would just it would it was flickering, and and you don't want that. Uh, that's not going to do you any good. Um, so you want to turn up the wattage uh, slowly in small increments. Um, you know, with the, again the adjustment screw is right here. So you want to turn that up uh, slowly, or I'm sorry, in this case you turn it down from 8 watts to 5, um, but you turn that down slowly, um, and what I what I did was I turned it all the way down as far as it could go, and I think it went down to like about 3 watts or so, uh, but again the LED light channel just turned off at that point, it was just not enough, uh, you know, uh, uh, wattage to, to drive the LEDs. So I turned it up, small increments, really slow, um, up to five, and I kept going just, you know, a little, little bit, you know, one little hair at a time, you know, uh, turning up the, the wattage um, until the LEDs, you know, stopped flickering. And from what I have seen, the Mars Aqua and the Flies On, are pretty much identical. Uh, so a friend of mine has uh, the flies on that uh, you know another friend of mine that is uh, in the hobby, and we checked his on out. And uh, again, you know a lot of the part numbers were were the same. So I don't know for sure. There's no way to tell. They flies on and Mars Aqua could be made in the same you know factory in China, uh, but again we have no way to confirm that. Um, you know that is just a a, a guess at best. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do now, now that we have the white channel turned down to 5 watts, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, basically we're going to go in the reverse procedure and put everything back together. Uh, so I'm going to start off by snapping, uh, you know, I'm going to turn, I'm going to unplug everything, um, turn everything over, the driver circuit board, uh, put the back cover back on it, clamp it back down, put the screws back in, and we'll be back. All right, I have the driver board flipped back over, you know, in its normal position. And we're just going to take the cover and it just snaps back in place. Right like that. And now we're going to put the uh, mounting bracket back on. All right, so the driver backs, uh, you know, the driver uh, is bolted back down. And it's just uh, a piece of metal with two screws, and you know that's the bracket that they used uh, to hold that uh, driver box in place. And the cover just slides back on. And then we're just going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and put the screws back in. All right, so everything is uh, back together, and this is the white channel. And again, it's reading 5 watts, which is, you know, where we want it. So that is the lowest I could adjust uh, this white channel down before it either, A, you know, the, the white LED started flickering, or, or B, it just turned off altogether. So, uh, uh, But this would be the same for uh, most any black box LEDs. Um, the Viper Spectras are, are set at 5 watts uh, for the white channel. Uh, Mars, My Mars Aquas for my frag tank are, are uh, set to uh, 5 watts. And um, my friend who has the five, the Flyzon brand black box LEDs, um, his are also uh, uh, set to 5 watts. And it really helped with adjusting the white channel on these. Uh, blue channel we didn't have to touch. Um, you know... Uh, the blue channel on uh, these are, you know, set at uh, um, 17 watts uh, for the blue channel on the Mars Aqua, and 5 uh, watts on the on the white channel. Um, so when my white channel was 8 watts, um, my par was uh, it was right around 108 on my uh, on the sand bed of my frag tank. So uh, we'll have to see what uh, you know adjusting this down the 5 watts, uh, how much that lowered the, uh, the par value because uh, um, as far as color spectrum and uh, par is concerned, um, 
I didn't want to ch turn the blue channel down anymore because it was it was just too too white for my liking. Um, I like more of a 20k look, so uh, you know the uh, white channel on these uh, set at 17 watts. Uh, more I'm sorry, the blue channel set at 17 watts on these. Um, you know, gave me that uh, color spectrum I was looking for, and um, this should help uh, with the white channel because, uh, you know, we got it down to five, which is almost half. So uh, um, the white channel will be, uh, um, you know, that should drop the par some, and it'll be uh, not, not, as, not as bright, which is what we were looking for. Um, adjusting the white channel down to five watts, you know, again, just gives us a lot more uh, flexibility as far as... Uh, um, you know, where we want to tune the white channel to. Alright, so I think that uh, wraps it up for the video.